In 1965, William Branham watched a television program discussing the instability of Los Angeles. Though Branham strictly forbade his cult following from watching television, the Branham family did watch in private, and he mentioned it on a few recordings. In the television program, a scientist was interviewed who stated that Los Angeles would sink within five years. This television program apparently became the basis for an alleged prophecy that would be used by his stage persona until the end of his life. Speaking in Los Angeles in April of 1965, William Branham predicted that Los Angeles would sink beneath the ocean, just like the television program predicted. This, according to Branham, would take place before his son, who turns 87 in 2022, was, quote, an old man. In 2008, Branham's son Billy Paul exceeded his life expectancy at the time the alleged prediction was made. After returning to Jeffersonville, Indiana, William Branham alleged that he was speaking under divine inspiration and did not remember what he said. According to Branham, God had spoken through him, calling Los Angeles Capernaum, and warning that the city would sink beneath the ocean. According to that voice that spoke through him, Capernaum was beneath the sea. The problem? Capernaum is not and has no record of ever being beneath the sea. It is one of the tourist attractions promoted by Tourist Israel. Archaeological excavations have revealed two ancient synagogues built one on top of the other. Capernaum was spared by the Romans during the Jewish revolt in AD 66 and was referred to as a fertile spring in the writings of Josephus. Many homes were built in the 4th century, and one of the homes was greatly transformed in the 5th century. Evidence shows a constant transforming city since before the days of Christ until about the 5th century. According to all archaeological evidence and historical information available, Capernaum has never been under the sea. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.